Hi everyone, this is Megan from the Toasted Marshmallow Kitchen. In today's video, we're making three super easy chicken dinners. First up, we're making this shortcut spinach dip chicken. To a greased baking dish, I'm adding three frozen chicken breasts. These will be seasoned with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Next, I'm using this pre-made spinach dip from Aldi and putting a large spoonful of it onto each chicken. One small adjustment that I would recommend is not to use frozen chicken. If the chicken was thawed, I think this spinach dip would have held on better during the cooking process. After an even layer of dip has been spread over the chicken, this will cook in the oven at 375 degrees for 40 to 50 minutes. Now that the chicken has fully cooked through, dinner is ready to serve. We hit this with rice peel off, but it would have been great with the side salad or other veggies. Next up, we're making slow cooker chicken tinga tacos. To a greased slow cooker, I'm adding in three frozen chicken breasts. These will be seasoned with a dash of salt and pepper. This is followed by one teaspoon of cumin and oregano, and then two teaspoons of minced garlic for a total of four cloves. Next, I'm adding in two chopped chipotle peppers in adobo sauce, as well as a sliced onion. You can add more peppers based on your heat tolerance. Now I'm adding in one can of fire roasted tomatoes. Because I used frozen chicken, this cooked on high for about four hours until it was fully cooked. After it was done cooking, I shredded up the chicken and let it soak up the juices for a little bit before making the tacos. We served ours over toasted tortilla shells with shredded cheese and then topped them with cilantro. These would make really good burrito bowls too. Now we're making barbecue chicken sliders and buffalo chicken wing dip. To a slow cooker, I'm adding in two frozen chicken breasts. This will get seasoned with some pepper and then topped with 3 fourths cup of ranch and a third cup of buffalo sauce. This is followed by one 8 ounce block of cream cheese and then this will cook on high for about 4 hours. 30 minutes before dinner, I'm shredding up the cooked chicken and giving it a good stir so the cream cheese is smooth. Now I'm going to stir in one cup of shredded mozzarella and top it with shredded cheddar cheese. This will stay put as I get the barbecue chicken going. To a small pot, I'm adding in pre-cooked shredded chicken. This will get covered in barbecue sauce and then it just has to heat through. Dinner is then ready to serve. This may seem like an odd combination, but I really just wanted the buffalo chicken wing dip while my fiance wanted something else to go along with it. Thanks for watching. All recipes will be linked in the description box.